Hey YouTube, my name is Elijah and welcome to my channel called Curls of Eli. And in today's video, I will be partnering with Allocate Naturals to show you guys how I got this super bomb braid out. So they sent me four different products that I'll be featuring in this video. The uh, first product they sent me is the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner comes in one of those little spray bottle things um, and it smells a lot like Skittles. Uh, I don't think it smells like lemongrass at all, but it smells amazing. Like amazing, amazing, amazing. I cannot even stress that to you guys. This whole entire line smells like candy, so I'm obsessed with it. And the second product they sent me is the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. Um, this product is has like a really, really thick consistency because it has shea butter inside of it. Um, I'll try to show you guys. You can sort of see. It's sort of like a Play-Doh consistency. It's really thick. And, um, but yeah, so it has shea butter in it, which is why it's so thick. And it sort of smells like Skittles too, but not as strong. So I think this product's my favorite just because it's not as strong as a leave-in conditioner, but it does smell really, really good still. And then the third product they sent me is the Aloe Berry Styling Gel. Um, this product has a different scent than the first two, but it does have like a more fruity scent. It smells really good too, but yeah. So that's the third product they sent me. And last but not least, the fourth product they sent me is the Glazed Argan Oil Silkener. Um, this oil can go through your hair and go in your roots, all that stuff. It adds shine, it helps with definition, prevents frizz. So all that stuff that you want your hair to do, um, it does. So, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I use these four products for this braid out. So keep watching. Hey guys, so starting off, I'm separating my hair into four big sections. The first two down the middle, then the back two in half. And I'll be starting on the bottom half and the back first because I find it's a lot easier that way. And then I split that section into two sides and begin styling the left side first. So I spray it with a lot of water because the Shea Yogurt specifies that works better in wet hair, which is a little different than how I usually do my braid outs because I prefer keeping it damp instead of wet. But every brand's products have different directions how to get the best results, so that's what I have to do for this braid out to get the products to work the way they need to. So after I'm finished getting my hair wet, I apply about a quarter size amount of the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. Um, I was actually shocked because I expected it to be super watery, but it's actually like a perfect consistency between a watery and creamy leave-in conditioner, and it smells so freaking good. Um, and as always, when I feel like I rubbed the leave-in good enough, I use my Denman brush to really make sure all my hair is evenly moisturized. And I always start brushing from my ends all the way to my roots to make sure that I'm not causing any breakage. So now I'm getting my hair a little more wet because like I said, the Shea Yogurt, which I'm about to use, specify that works best in wet hair. And I'm trying to make sure my hair is as popping as possible. Now this product is very, very thick, so I'm making sure to use a small amount unlike I do with my usual stylers. So before applying it to my hair, I rub it in my hands first to help make sure the Shea Butter becomes softer. Because if you didn't know, Shea Butter is extremely thick and almost hard, so putting heat on it in some way helps make it more easier to brush through. And it's crazy because you can already see how shiny it's making my hair, which is a good sign. And now I split the section in half again because I want my braids to be a little on the smaller side because the smaller your braids are, the more definition you'll have. And the bigger your braids are, the less definition you have. So your braid size will depend on what you want your results to be like. So now I'm ready to braid this section up. So basically what I do is I take a section of hair and split it into three even sized sections. And then I'll start overlapping the outer strands over the middle again and again. So the left side goes over the middle, then the right side over the middle, then the left side over the middle, then the right side over the middle. And then I keep repeating this process until I get to about an inch away from my ends. And then I use my finger to coil the end and this locks my hair in place so the braid can't come undone. And I'll continue the same exact process for the rest of my head. So I spray the section with water, apply the Shea Yogurt Leave-In, use my Denman brush to make sure the section is 100% coated, and then I'll begin braiding. So other than its freaking amazing scent, the Shea Yogurt has plenty of other reasons as to why it's super bomb. Um, so for starters, it made my hair extremely moisturized. It gave me an insane amount of shine from the start. And if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know that I'm always obsessing over products that make my hair look shiny because I love it. Um, it's great for all hair types, which is a plus, and works really well if you're somebody like me who has naturally very dry hair. But yeah, other than Shea Butter, the product also has rosemary oil, coconut oil, argan oil, and wheat germ oil. So basically the Shea Yogurt is an amazing styler, just be sure to use the leave-in conditioner beforehand. Alake also sent me a styling gel as I mentioned earlier, so I decided to use it to smooth down the edges area of my hair. My edges never grow long, so they tend to get frizzy and annoying, so I used the gel to make sure that they stay down.
When I get to the front of my head, I always like to put a braid in the middle. That way I can decide how I want my part or bangs to look. If I were to keep it split in the middle, then I would have had a middle part, which I really, really hate. So just remember that any part you have the braids in, that's the way they'll stay, even after you unravel them. Um, and also that the same rule applies with the direction you braid too. So just keep that in mind. After two days of letting the braids dry and set, it's finally time to unravel them. Before I do that though, I use a couple squirts of Alicase Glazed Argan Oil and I apply it to all of the braids. Um, this pretty much gives me additional shine and helps to make sure I don't get any frizz from unraveling. Now when I start unraveling the braids, I always do it really slowly and carefully to make sure I don't cause any frizz after putting in so much hard work to make sure they're as perfect as possible. So that's why I use the oil beforehand just as an extra step to help prevent anything like that from happening. And now that all the braids are taken down, I'm going to go ahead and separate all of the clumps two to three times for extra volume and definition. Again, I'm being really careful while doing this, and you'll see me coiling the ends around my fingers. Um, and this pretty much just helps to make sure the ends don't look frizzy from being unraveled so much. And for my final step, I use my pick to give my hair a little more volume, and I also use it and my hands to shake my roots to try and get rid of any parts on my head. And okay, so I know I look crazy right here, but basically I'm just trying to find where my hair wants to naturally fall, so I promise I'm not swinging my neck around giving myself whiplash for fun. <laughs> So if you weren't able to tell from the beginning of this video, these are my final results. Um, I'm shook. These products are extremely, extremely moisturizing and they smell amazing. I've never used products that smell as good as these ones before. Um, and this week I'm going to try them as a wash and go. So I'll make a video for that too to show you guys so you can see how my wash and goes look compared to the braid out and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, my hair is super, super soft. It has a lot of hold because of the Shea yogurt. So that product is amazing. So I'll try to do a close up, but you can see this is the final result. My hair is super, super shiny, super defined, and really soft. And usually when your hair is soft, it gets frizzy easily. But I've been playing my hair all day, and it's fine. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video. I want to thank Alec K for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.